Hey everybody, I'm back and I'm sorry I haven't been making as many videos as I can because, well, it's final exams week. Luckily, I got my final exams done since I'm a fine arts major. We got them done last week, but throughout this entire week, they've been hosting a lot of events for students who have to take, you know, written final exams. So I've been going to those and the recent one that I attended was a petting zoo. It was really good, by the way. But I am here today. I got another review for you. And I promise that I will try to get out as many videos as I can during the winter break here. But getting back to why I'm making this video, I got another product review for you. I'm going to be reviewing this stuff here. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Foaming Milk and Body Wash. This is what the bottle itself looks like. You can find this at Target, Ulta Beauty, Select Walgreens stores, and if you're lucky, I think you can find it at Walmart. I haven't really scanned the Walmart shelves as good as I usually do, but if you're lucky, I think you can find this product over there too. It's The price range is somewhere between $8.99 to $9.99, and for that price, you pretty much get a 16 fluid ounce bottle of this stuff here, and it's supposed to be not only a body wash, it's supposed to be like a bubble bath of sorts, like a milk bath of bubble milk bath if that makes any sense to you but um I end up picking this up there's nothing really special about it I just picked it up because I ran out of body wash to use this bubble bath and I saw this and somebody and one of the customers at the store that I was attending which was a target she ended up telling me that this stuff was very moisturizing so I decided to try it out for myself um, for starters it has a load of coconut oil in it so if you're a big fan of coconut oil, you're going to like this stuff. It has that, it has hibiscus flour, and it has something called gluten-free vitamin E. I'm not sure not sure if I even heard of gluten-free vitamin E. I've heard of regular vitamin E, but not gluten-free, if that makes any sense. But it has that, and it also has coconut milk, too. It has silk proteins. It pretty much has all the ingredients you would expect from the coconut and hibiscus line from Shea Moisture. So if you're a fan of this line, then you can try this product. So I picked it up for a good bubble bath here, and I've been using it for a while now. I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but where am I? That's where I am right now. That's how much I have left right now. I've mostly been using this stuff as a body wash. I used it one time as a um, bubble bath of sorts, and that was when I was on my own monthly cycle. To put it simply, this stuff is pretty good. It's a pretty good product. I mean, in terms of being a body wash, it's excellent. It foams up very nicely, especially if you use like a shower poof. <clears throat> Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry, I just ate something. I really do need to stop doing that, but oh, I just ate something. But anyway, this product is pretty good as a body wash. It foams up very nicely. It cleans me up and it doesn't strip my skin at all. It leaves it ample it just leaves it very very nice I wouldn't say super moisturized but I just know it doesn't leave my skin dry but the key to using this is to use it in warm water when you're showering so you would get the best results if you use it while you're showering in warm water as a foaming milk slash bubble bath it's kind of this is where it kind of falls short of that Okay, because when you think of bubble baths, you usually think of your bathtub nearly overflowing with bubbles so much that they just drip onto the floor and you gotta clean it up. Not with this stuff, and I think it's because it's sulfate free and it has, um, because it's sulfate free, you're not gonna expect a lot of bubbles from this. So if you decide to use this as a bubble bath, strictly for a bubble bath, be ready because this stuff doesn't really make a lot of bubbles. Or if it does make a bunch of bubbles, um, the bubbles disappear in a little while and it just mellows out to this nice thin foam on the top of the surface of the water and then it turns into this milky kind of cloudy water i mean it's not harmful but my only complaint about it being an actual bubble bath i just wish the bubbles would last a little bit longer but that's the kind but you need to expect that when you're using sulfate free products especially from a company like shea moisture and another thing well, before I get to that other thing, as a um, what was it? as a bubble bath, it's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't strip my skin. It leaves it nice and moisturized, and I feel relaxed. The scent, 
Scent's really good too. It smells like tropical paradise. Pretty much, pretty much if you're a fan of the coconut and hibiscus line and you smell the scent, then you're familiar with this scent. It pretty much smells like tropical paradise. That's pretty much how it smells to me. But getting back on the one issue that I mentioned before a few seconds ago, I'm just now looking at the ingredient list and I realized that this stuff does not have any shea butter in it. It doesn't have any shea butter in it. That's probably why I it didn't moisturize as well as I thought it would. Because usually if a product from Shea Moisture has a signature shea butter ingredient in it, then that stuff would be extremely, extremely moisturizing. Moisturizing. This stuff does not have any shea butter in it, so I can't really decide if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it doesn't really matter to me because, well, this stuff performs pretty good as a body wash and as a bubble bath, but this is actually the first Shea Moisture product that I've used that doesn't have shea butter in it, and it still works good. So all in all, this is a pretty, pretty good product. I'm not sure if I'll purchase it again because, again, I want to try the other bubble bath foaming milk and body washes that they have they do have an african black soap one olive and green tea one a shea butter one yeah those are the only three that i know but they do have those and the other three can be found at select target stores if you're lucky so i want to try those but to be fair for a product that doesn't really have shea butter in it it's pretty good i probably give it four out of five stars but I'm not sure if I would purchase it again. To begin, because I want to try something new, and well, I'm not much of a fan of tropical scents in general. They smell nice, but I'm not much of a fan of those. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about this stuff. It's good, but it's not great. It's a pretty good product, especially for people who might be fans of the coconut and hibiscus line. If you are, then you definitely can try this out. But as a body, but it performs better as a body wash than as a bubble bath. So for this, I just use it strictly as a body wash as I just did now. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All I have to say about the product, four out of five stars. So if you have used this product before, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. And actually, if you have sensitive skin and you've used this stuff before, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below, okay? Okay, I did hear from somebody with sensitive skin that used this stuff. I don't remember exactly what her results were, what her review was about this stuff. But I did hear that someone with sensitive skin actually used this. So if you have sensitive skin, if you used the product, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. If you have any questions about the product, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And as a heads up, there will be a hair coloring video coming soon. I just haven't decided when. I am probably am going to do it before Christmas. I really do want to do it before Christmas here. And I do plan on dyeing my hair a dark green color. I just wish I had that hoodie that I really wanted from Etsy at a certain point. But whatever, I'm rambling. But there will be a hair coloring video coming soon. There will be more product reviews coming soon. I just... Right now, I'm just in relaxation mode. That's why I've been somewhat lazy getting these videos out. But I'm getting them out. I promise I am. So thank you for your support. Like I say, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. I, I look at them all the time. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, okay? So see you then. Bye, guys. Have a great happy holidays, all right? Bye-bye.